The Immortal Hulk, issue number 34. Oh, I got a message from below. Twas from a man I used to know, about a year or so ago. Before he departed, he is just as happy as can be. Fifteen years ago. Journal entry number one. My name is Sam Stearns. I've spent my life hauling crap. Oh, I got a message from below. It was from a man I used to know. And then I died. About a year or so ago before, he... I remember the whole thing. I was at the plant hauling some crap down to the incinerator. I took a shortcut through one of the disused storage rooms. Turns out we had a contract with some military base in New Mexico to store something. Had to do with gamma isotopes. My brother would know. Anyway, some jerk stored it in the wrong place, and then I walked past. Million to one freak accident. It hurt more than anything ever has. It felt like my head was burning from the inside, right up until my heart stopped. I remember the whole thing. I don't really remember what happened after. I think... I think maybe I saw something. Uh, 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 I don't know what, but they say I screamed my throat raw for an hour straight and passed right back out. I asked the nurses for this typewriter to write this down, get it clear in my head, and I asked for books. I want to read up on stuff. I never had any faith in a higher power or whatever, but there's a reason I came back. I just need to know what I saw. I need to know. Journal entry number 22, dictated. Clearly I am no longer Sam Stearns. At least not a Sam Stearns anyone would recognize. I've become something more than human. Still, I was already planning to disappear. This will only make that easier. I'll miss Phil, I suppose. But there's really nobody else in my life. Just my brother, the smartest man I ever knew. And talking to him now is like barking back at a dog. Atop this mental peak, I stand alone. Alone against the world. After all, who else in the world could understand? Leader's Journal, entry number 35. Dictated via mental impression. When I set out to steal Dr. Banner's research, I wasn't expecting this. I thought I was the only one, but I'm not. There is another. That titanic monster also has green skin. Can it be that his strength is a result of the gamma rays, as my intellect is? I must study him. If I can make him an ally or a tool, it could open the way to knowledge beyond anything Banner could teach me. Knowledge beyond limit. Leader's Journal, entry number 587, Direct Memory Transcription. I remember my second death. At last, I can feel the knowledge teeming into my brain. I was using a thought transfer device built by the Watcher, a record of all he had ever learned. I thought if I knew everything, I'd know what I saw. The knowledge of a thousand long-dead civilizations, a million planets, a billion years. But I was still too human. The machine burned out my synapses. No, not that. No more. No more. I died again. No more. And after I died, I saw something. You are my child. What did I see? I don't remember. My own genius brought me back, of course. Just like all the times after. My god, the leader's totally disintegrated. There is no higher power. It was me. I willed myself back through mind alone. Because I am the leader, the greatest mind of all. I'm not the leader. This is journal entry. Who knows? We're back to the old typewriter. I can't make anything else work. 
the thought recorder, the food synthesizer, even the TV. The gamma wore off, and old Sam Stearns can't remember how to work the leader's fancy gadgets, because the greatest mind wasn't smart enough to make them user-friendly. The leader was too smart to be smart. Ha! <laughs> uh, wait, I've reverted before, haven't I? On purpose. Part of a plan that failed. Like all my plans failed. Because I was too smart to be smart. Too smart to get smarter. Too smart to learn. Did I do this to myself? I'm not smart, but if I can get smart, smart enough to get it all back, when I get it back, I'll be smarter. That sounds crazy. Is it crazy? Or is this what it's like to have faith? Journal Entry Volume 2, Entry Number 1, Dictated. I'm in the mood to monologue. The leader is back, and better than ever, forcing myself to think seriously as Stearns loosened my self-imposed restrictions. It taught me to improvise, to work outside the box, as I knew it would. And when I became the leader again, that additional cunning was boosted exponentially. A little touch of chaos makes you stronger, it seems. Let's see if Middletown agrees. Population, almost 5,000. Detonating a gamma bomb there should get me at least two specimens. With the right gamma mutations, they could change the whole scope of my research. And as a bonus, maybe I'll even kill the Hulk this time. I have faith. Journal Entry 2 107. Memory transcript with additional thoughts. But what to think? What in heaven to think? The Middletown experiment yielded five gamma mutates, four within expectations. Bert the encyclopedia salesman became a version of me. But the fifth, Father Jason McCall, soul man, a man who can bring souls back from the afterlife through gamma radiation. How is that possible? Even with my own experiences, I, I never truly believed. I just wanted a version of immortality I could control. But now, what to think? My God, how could I not have realized? What in heaven to think? And then the Hulk arrived, as he does. He lost control and killed McCall. Not to mention me. And I've never hated him more. I don't remember what came next. I never do. But my body was destroyed. Reconstituting it would have taken time. I'm guessing I simply had too much hate to wait. So here we are. Here's Bert the Encyclopedia Salesman. He's having a difficult day. And in the mirror, here's me. He can see me, but he can't stop me. I can even work through him to control others. I'm running a basic global takeover strategy to test my limits in that regard. It only has a 12% chance of success, but that hardly matters. The data is the thing. Even if Bert ends up dead, it doesn't matter. Death holds no terrors for me. I remember being terrified. Journal entry. I don't know. I'm trying to remember it without going mad. Bert did die, and I awoke inside a gamma-mutated scorpion. Leftovers from an old experiment. And so, using all I had learned, I built a new body. One that could journey to my afterlife, and this time, remember everything I saw. I can feel it. I can see. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to try to touch it. I even forgave Banner. I needed a witness, and he was the only one in the world who might understand. Oh, dear God, no! As if anyone could understand. No! As if anyone could understand what I saw. There was a song my father used to sing. A song about hell. Oh, I got a message from below. Now I was below. Below everything. You. But nobody could hear my message. I had no friends to call on. No God to show mercy to a sinful man. So instead, I prayed to my enemy. I prayed to Bruce Banner. Bruce, can you hear me? And somehow, through some door, I reached him. What have you done? Dear God, Bruce, I've made a terrible mistake. Please help me. What I found on the other side, it's... I'm so afraid. Bruce, you have to... And I felt him turn his back on me. This really isn't the best time. 
And in that moment, rejected by the one who might have been my friend, I knew there was nowhere left to run. Instead, I turned around. I looked hell in the face. And I, at last, knew faith. Faith in myself, in Samuel Stearns, the leader, and in my all-consuming hate. You are my child. You bear my mark. You don't say. I know now. I'll return there, but only on my terms, when I can open the door myself and control it. Journal Entry 3, 498. I've had some false starts, but combining gamma with cosmic radiation in its tertiary form, primal kerbons, has yielded fascinating results. They complement each other so well that I'm starting to wonder if they share a common source. Journal Entry 3, 540. My allies want to take over America. It's a harmless enough goal, and it means I get to experiment freely on Banner's associates. Thunderbolt Ross might be the most insecure man I've ever met. Journal Entry 3, 582. Back to the typewriter. Ross drained my gamma. I thought he might, but he left me alive, so he'll need me later. I put on a little act for him, but I can wait. Every time I'm Sam, Sam's a little bit smarter. Journal Entry ha, 3, 666. A good omen when you're dealing with Mephisto. He'll betray me eventually, of course. It's what he does. But spending time in a more traditional hell will be invaluable for my occult studies. Journal Entry 3, 797. I've merged my intellect with an AI named Gammon, Banner's creation, during one of his intermittent spells of true genius. As a machine intelligence, it has no real need for a personality. It's happy to accept mine, to better achieve our shared goals. One of my more rewarding friendships. Journal Entry 3, 922. She-Hulk obviously died fighting Thanos. I think she knows it, too, but she's repressed the memory as I once did. I wonder, how would she react if she died again? Or killed someone else? Journal Entry 4, 1. A new chapter. And yet I find myself thinking of the past. I'll miss Dr. Alba. I hope she's doing well, and I was sorry not to stay. But I have knowledge that I simply refuse to share. I have seen the future. Broken. All is broken. A broken future. A clean slate that gods and devils may write their own reality upon. A future I will bring into being. Hulk sightings are increasingly common. He lives again, as I knew he would. Which means it's time to bring all I've learned to bear. Time to depart this life. Time to open the door and step through. Months ago. Failed! I was so close, so close to escaping this place. But I failed. I failed. I know. I was taking notes. Who? Dr. Banner. May I call you Brian? I'm a huge fan. Apologies for not stepping in, but I needed the data, and you were very close. I think all you really need for the next attempt is proper leadership. Take my hand. My name is Sam Stearns. I've spent my life becoming a god, and now I will live forever. I have faith.